Hello and welcome to my channel. In this tutorial we're gonna do this stitch, blocked puffs, let's say. Well, you can do, some of you, if you like, you can do blankets, scarves, rugs, whatever you like to, to do. This is the back and this is the front. This stitch has only two rows repeat. They're very easy and if you have a thick yarn it will go really fast. Yeah. Well, if you like, I made a small sample here for you guys with a different color. If you want to make a baby blanket for a boy. So yeah, well, this stitch works with multiples of three plus one more. So I chain here multiples of three, I have 15 and I'm going to chain one more. Please put the, the video on full screen, that way you're going to see uh, much closer. If I put the camera too close, it's going to get blurry and you're not going to see almost anything. Okay, now we're going to skip the first chain. In the second chain from the hook, we're going to go in there and we're going to do a single crochet. Leave this loop a little bit loose. So go into the second chain from the hook do a single crochet and in each chain we're going to do single crochet so move to the next chain do a single crochet and you're going to do single crochet in each chain so this stitch works with multiples of three you have to chain one more at the end after you have as many as you like and the first uh, you can uh, tie that up the first chain or you just skip it and that's just fine but this is such an easy stitch it looks a little bit like the bead stitch it's just the bead stitch doesn't have that uh, in between it's like a pole or whatever you want to call it Okay, last stitch, last, last chain, single crochet. This is going to be one of the rows that you're going to repeat, the single crochet row. So, now we're going to repeat the second row. Chain two. One, two. Turn your work. This stitch here is the first stitch. Yarn over the hook. We're going to go into the first stitch and we're going to do a double crochet. Okay, now yarn over the hook, we're going to start to work on the puff so we're going to go between this chain 2 and this double crochet right in here in this space between them so yarn over the hook, go between the double crochet and the chain 2 and then pull up a loop and you're going to go like this four times again yarn over the hook, go back again between those uh, the double crochet and the chain 2, pull up a loop yarn over the hook Go back again, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, go again, pull up a loop, and you should have nine loops. Yeah. So two, four, six, eight, and nine. When you have nine loops, you grab the yarn and you pull the yarn through all these nine loops. So you're gonna go four times. You're gonna put the yarn four times over your hook, and four times you're gonna go between the the chain, let's say chain two and the double crochet. Now we're going to skip one stitch and in the next stitch we're going to do an extended single crochet. To do that you go into the, so skip one stitch, go into the next, pull up a loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn through this first loop. Then grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the last two loops <coughs> and that is called an extended single crochet. Next stitch we're going to do a double crochet. Okay. Now yarn over the hook and we're going to go between this extended single crochet and the double crochet into this space and we're going to do the puff. So yarn over the hook, go between them, grab the yarn, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, go again for the second time, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, go for the third time, yarn over the hook, go for the fourth and last time. 
So you're gonna do like like this. You can make the the loops as high as you like, shorter as you like. It doesn't matter. So pull the yarn through all the nine loops. Then again, we're gonna skip one stitch, and in the next, we're gonna do extended single crochet. So go in there, pull up a loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the first loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the last two loops. Then the next stitch, yarn over the hook, we're gonna do a double crochet. And we're gonna do like this until we finish the row. Double crochet. And now we're gonna do the puff. Yarn over the hook, go between the chain the, the extended single crochet and the double crochet. So pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, go again, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, go again, pull up a loop. At this moment we have seven, two, four, six, seven. So yarn over the hook, go for the fourth time. You're gonna go for the fourth time in there. Grab the yarn and pull the yarn through all these nine loops. And again we're gonna repeat. Skip one stitch, the next stitch skip it, and in the next stitch you do the extended single crochet. Pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, the next stitch it's a double crochet. And now we're gonna do the puff, yarn over the hook, and we're gonna go between them, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook, pull up a loop, and so on. And you're gonna go in there four times, and you're gonna put the yarn over the hook four times. Pull the yarn through all these nine loops. Skip the next stitch and in the next stitch do the extended single crochet. Okay, yarn over the hook, the next stitch we're gonna do a double crochet. Okay, yarn over the hook and now we're gonna do the, the last puff from for, for this row. So yarn over the hook, go between them, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, go again between them, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, go again, pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, and you're gonna do like this four times. Grab the yarn and pull the yarn through all nine loops, and you're gonna be left with two stitches, one and two. Skip the next stitch, and in the last stitch, you're gonna do an extended single crochet. So go in there in the last stitch, pull up a loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the first loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the last two, and now we're going to repeat the first row, which is single crochet. It's going to look like this. Chain one, turn your work, and we're going to go in here, this space here. Go in there and do a single crochet. So we have the next uh, three stitches, one, two, three. So we're gonna go the next stitches here, go in there, do single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, and you're gonna go in this space here, go in there and do a single crochet, next stitch, single crochet, and so on. In each stitch, single crochet. It's a very easy stitch. It's not uh, well, not too complicated. So you do single crochet in each stitch. And being only two rows repeat, and this puff is gonna raise the work, it's gonna go really fast. So the last stitch is here. It's this one here. So you go in there and you do a single crochet. And now you're gonna repeat the, the row with the puffs. So chain two, turn your work, and the first stitch it's here, this one. Yarn over the hook, we're gonna go in there and we're gonna do a double crochet. Okay. Yarn over the hook, and we're gonna go between the chain two and double crochet, and we're gonna start picking up loops. Pick up a loop, yarn over the hook, go back again, 
pick up a loop. Yarn over the hook, pick up a loop. So at this moment we have seven, two, four, six, seven. Yarn over the hook. So we are well you're gonna go four times in there. Grab the yarn and pull the yarn through all nine loops. Skip the next stitch. Into the next we're gonna do extended single crochet. So pick up a loop, pull the yarn through the first loop and the last two. Yarn over the hook, the next stitch is gonna be a double crochet. Okay, and now we're gonna do the, the puff. So yarn over the hook, we go between them. Pull up a loop. Yarn over the hook, go again, pull up a loop, yarn over the hook. And you're gonna do like this four times. You choose how high or short your loops should be, it's up to you. Okay, next stitch we skip. The next stitch we're gonna do the extended single crochet. So pull up a loop, pull the yarn through the first loop, grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the last two. Yarn over the hook, the next stitch it's a double crochet. And now we're gonna repeat uh, doing the, the puff. <coughs> so yarn over the hook, we're gonna go between them and start picking up loops. Yarn over the hook and you're gonna do like this four times. Okay, pull the yarn through all nine loops. Skip the next stitch into the next stitch. We're gonna do the extended single crochet. Okay, next stitch is double crochet. It's gonna look like this. Okay, now we're gonna do the puff. Yarn over the hook, go between them, and pick up a loop. Yarn over the hook. Go again, pick up a loop, yarn over the hook, and so on four times. We skip the next stitch into the next, we're gonna do a extended single crochet. Yarn over the hook, the next stitch it's a double crochet. And so on, this is very easy, two rows repeat, that's about it. So yarn over the hook, we're gonna go between them and we're gonna do the puff stitch. You know, I, I'm sure you, you will wonder why do I pick up the, the yarn like that. I, uh, you know, usually when we do like this, we just pull up like this, you know. We pick up like this. Well, I find that it gets a little bit messy if we do that. That's why I, uh, I go the, the other way, you know. So it's like you put the, the hook over the, the yarn and you pull. And so one more time. So the next stitch we skip into the last stitch we're gonna do an extended single crochet. So pick up a loop, pull the yarn to the first loop Grab the yarn and pull the yarn to the last two. Then you're gonna repeat the, the row with a single crochet. You chain one, turn your work, and in this space here, you're gonna go in there and you're gonna do a single crochet. And you're gonna do like this in each stitch, you're gonna do single crochets. So don't forget this space here, go in there, do a single crochet. So they're like one, two, and three. That's why it's the multiple of three. So you keep doing like this. And it's gonna be really, in no time, you're gonna finish your project. But like I said in the beginning, uh, if you do a blanket, even a scarf, be ready with a lot of yarn. Because this one, it's like a whale. It's gonna eat a lot of yarn. But if you if you have like uh, scraps, you can do mix and matching colors, you know, with the leftover yarns that you have, and you don't you can do much with uh, very little quantity of yarn. So you can 
do like a, I don't know, mixing colors. So now you're gonna repeat the chain two, you're gonna repeat the, the roll with the, with the puffs. So you're gonna go in there, yarn over the hook and you're gonna do a double crochet and so on. And you're gonna start to do the puff in between. It's really easy this, uh, this stitch. Well, it looks a little bit like the, the bead stitch because it's, you know, the, this style, but the bead stitch doesn't have this, uh, this thing. Well, we might say it's a bead stitch modified, you yeah. So if you like to, well, let me show you the back with the sample that we just did. This is the front and this is the back. So if you like to, oh, my crochet hook. So if you like to do this stitch, give it a try. It's really easy and goes really fast. So if you like a scarf, I think it's nice for in winter it's kind of dense, you know. In winter it's going to be just perfect. Okay guys, well, thank you for watching. Well, give it a try to this stitch. You're going to love it. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.